and well, there's, there's absolutely no chance that this Congress will repeal it. Don't know. Then in the next session. I think it's unlikely that you will get enough votes. You would probably need 60 votes in the United States Senate to repeal DOMA. Uh, if the Democrats do extremely well, we would end up with 53, 54, 55 senators. Uh, I don't think there's any possibility we could end up with 60 senators. Uh, I'm a co-sponsor of the repeal of DOMA. I would love this to tell you we could repeal DOMA. I think it's a very, very much a priority to, to repeal DOMA. Just giving you a realistic assessment. I think that it's unlikely that uh, we have to have the House change so that the Democrats control the House, which can happen. 25 seats, that's very doable. But I just don't think we have enough, we'll have enough support in the Senate to be able to get that done. Uh, and, and I don't want to be discouraging. I think we should try. And we might be able to get it done. Uh, and I find that on this issue of equality, the public is changing a lot faster than the political system is changing. And perhaps within the next couple of years, perhaps next year, the political climate might have changed enough. Maryland passes marriage equality, we see other things happening, that we may be able to get the momentum to pass the repeal of DOMA in the next Congress. So it's possible. But I think the reality is we have to understand that this is not necessarily a one-year or a two-year campaign. We are going to repeal DOMA. We are going to repeal it. It's not going to be too many more years. We're going to get it. We're going to get it off the books.